Hey guys, what's up? I Bubba's bringing you another Diablo 2 video. Today we're taking a look at the Alders boy. Gonna see what we can do with the new Sunder Charm. So this build is already pretty fun, especially if you're farming like stony tombs or some place where there were no fire resist monsters inherently. Um, but now with the new Sunder Charm, uh, this thing really woke up. So let's see what we've got. We've got our Alders Rhythm. Uh, we've got this with just some Shale Runes and then a 4015. This is just to hit our break point. Um, you could, if you don't care about the fast attack speed, you could just fill this with Fire Facets and maybe do a little more, although I think the DPS is probably better with faster attack speed. Then we got the Alders Helm. It's got two Fire Facets in it. We got the Alders... Uh, chest it's got one fire facet in it then we're using laying of hands uh, just for the fire res it does give us damage to demons um, and attack speed best pair of gloves in the game anyway so why not wear them <clears throat> we've got the alder boots we've got arachnid mesh we've got bk ring we've got raven frost We've got Amaras, and then we have a Phoenix, uh, which is a little expensive, Vex Vex Low Jaw, but I mean, in the scheme of things, it's actually cheaper than Enigma, it's cheaper than Infinity. Now I am using Infinity on my Merc, uh, Fortitude, Andy's Vigil's Infinity, but if you got the Phoenix first, you could always save the Infinity for last anyway. Um, and I mean, for the price of Infinity, you can get this, you could probably get this whole set for less than what an Infinity cost anyway. Um, maybe not the Fire Facets. Uh, the Fire Facets are going to be probably expensive, uh, this ladder, because of the new Sunder changes. Then, of course, we have Called Arms. We have Spirit. Uh, on offhand, of course, we got a Torch, Annie. Then we have a Geeds, we got some Shape Shifties, we got our Sundered Charm, and we just have some 20 Life All Res Charms. Um, we have 90 Fire Res with this build, um, and all our res is actually pretty good. Um, I messed up, I should respec actually, I was using Medusa's Gaze. That's why I have so much strength. It requires one night or two nineteen, um, so I could lower this um, and either pump Dex or Vitality. We really don't need Vitality. You could actually go max block with this and be okay. I know you're looking and saying, but you only have fifteen hundred health. Well, trust me, that's going to go up a lot here shortly. But let's go ahead, and I did change. If you saw my last Alders build um, from last season, or from the start of D2R, um, the build has changed a little bit because we used a lot of rabies. Because, you know, fire claws, when you can't break fire mutants, is kind of terrible. Um, but we do have Point and Werewolf, yeah, Lycanthropy, whatever. Um, instead of pumping up rabies like we did before I did put a point in the hunger uh, just for some extra life and mana steel if we do happen to need it and of course we max out our fire claws under summoning I did have carrion vine but that was until I got the phoenix and now with redemption you really don't need carrion vine uh, or poison creeper or you could use poison creeper if you really like but you don't need either of these anymore um, but the Oak Sage does help, 180% uh, max life. And then we have Synergies, we have Firestorm, and we have Molten Boulder. We have both of those maxed because they are Synergies for Fire Claws. And this is what gives us our 14k uh, damage from Fire Claws, which is pretty decent. Um, yeah, so we got a lot of negative Fire Res going on with our Phoenix. Uh, it gives us the Redemption Aura. Um, yeah, and a nice, nice, uh, just a nice shield overall. Um, some Fire Absorb as well. 
Now obviously I kind of want to try to push this build without alders because if you were a flickering flame you get that nice fire reservoir plus negative fire res so I don't know I think it would be really good um, to kind of make a real like a non alders build using this but I don't know maybe um, but anyway let's go to chaos sanctuary let me make sure my stuff cast I'll go ahead and cast my vine anyway uh, you can use cyclone armor uh, for a little bit more defense but we don't really need it and let me go actually do some battle orders first and you can see now with battle orders we're at 6k life so I mean we could probably go max block if we wanted to even with using this phoenix which isn't great block at all and just put very little points into vitality because i mean we could probably still get like 4k life out of this easy <clears throat> with max block so that's something to consider so yeah let's just see how this does in chaos sanctuary get a little bit of fire claw action one shot that guy now these are the immunes obviously stuff that's immune is going to take far less damage because of the infinity or i keep saying the change to infinity but it's a change to conviction where it's only one fifth effective so they're not getting that negative 85 fire is which i mean you can see as easy as i'm killing these uh these venom and pit lords which are all fire immune as easy as I'm killing them with this build, if I had, if I had the 85 uh, fire res from conviction, I would probably just one shot all these guys. So, I mean, it's still a slower build because you're just one hit, one shotting everything instead of uh, you know you're not really doing like any type of AOE damage. Um, but. This is a playstyle that I really enjoy. Um, it beats, you know, traveling around on like a sorceress or hammered and all the time. That can get boring and cumbersome. Uh, with this, you pretty much just click one button. Like I just, I'm clicking my one mouse button. That's it. I'm not switching. You know, I'm not switching skills. I'm not doing anything. I'm just pressing one button and just like walking through chaos, pretty much. Um, which yeah isn't isn't bad at all um obviously in a group i could see this as being good as well um if you had a paladin with a better conviction conviction goes up to like 150 so with like a max conviction that would be pretty nice even though it's only one fifth as effective uh, right now, but that's still a lot better than our level 12 conviction we're getting from Infinity. Um, but yeah, I mean, considering this build couldn't really do chaos before, well, I, actually this build could do chaos, it was just way slower, and you had to spread rabies everywhere, and uh, now you don't have to spread rabies, you pretty much just, uh, you just attack with fire claws, so pick that grand charm up in case it's something good but yeah I mean this build not too bad considering let's get our vines back up here actually I should probably there we go back up to 6k health and also getting a little more dex would also help with uh, with your attack rating a little bit as well, which may come into effect if you're trying to do a terror zone with this, you know, because obviously you're going to be fighting monsters that are way higher level. Of course, this character is only level 83, so this is like pretty close to what you would be, like your attack rating would be in a terror zone, I guess because it's like four levels above you and you can see bam just one shot more to Zeus. this build is so crazy 
Like, it's, it's definitely not like a lightning sork or, you know, a blizzard sork or a hammerden, but I mean, to just be able to be in chaos killing everything by yourself with, uh, with an alder set, like, you gotta remember, this is just an alder set. Like, this isn't Enigma and, uh, grief or like none of that stuff this is just a freaking alder set <laughs> is all i'm using right now to kill all this stuff that's insane to think about like by day three or four people are going to be throwing this set away so let's see if we can kill bale I haven't actually tried this on a boss yet. Let's see how this goes. Or Diablo, I mean, not Bale. We'll probably die a terrible death. It helps if I may be in the uh, werewolf form. Oh, we just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. We just... We just wrecked Diablo. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. We, we, uh, we do okay versus Diablo. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, so Fireclaw Druid, Alder Set, might just be the new meta, who knows? Uh, let me know if you guys are going to try out this Alder Set at all. I mean, to be honest, like the Alder Set's pretty much free, and you can use any belt, you don't really need an Arachnid Mesh, you could use like a String of Ears, even a Gold Wrap for some Magic Find, whatever. The Maras, um... You could probably drop the Mars, maybe get a High Lords or something. You could maybe even do like a Angelic set for a while until you get like a BK and a Raven Frost. Raven Frost would be really nice for the Cannot Be Frozen. Uh, but you could use a Trang Belt as well for Cannot Be Frozen. Uh, although Raven Frost is pretty easy to get. And like I said, without a Phoenix, so I was actually using this build um, with a Medusa's Gaze with a fire facet in it and I was doing okay it was obviously a little bit slower than the phoenix but I mean as long as you have the sunder charm you're going to be able to kill stuff with this so I mean yeah uh I think it'll be a fun build once you get the sunder charm uh if you just want a little melee fire claw action um, I think it's going to be fun, and then of course you can build out of this into better gear, like I said, get a flickering flame, uh, get a better weapon, I don't know, grief obviously would be insane for some physical damage um, added, um, like a chains of honor or fortitude, um, I think Alder's boots would still be good, lay on hands would still be good, just for the fire res if nothing else. Um, but yeah, um, I think it'll be great. Uh, another fun build made better by Sunder Charm. So yeah, I uh, hope to see you guys in the new uh, ladder coming out soon. Catch you guys later.